Do you want to play a game that is fun? Do you want to be able to play it all day long and have a good time? Well, you probably better start looking for a different game because this one sucks ass. But we're going to play it for Halloween on Let's Play A Nightmare on Elm Street. We're going to go ahead here and start it. First things first, you're punching snakes. That's a good start. So, this game has an interesting history to it. And by interesting, I mean there's really not a lot to tell about it. It's a crappy Halloween game. Or horror game, I should say. Pumped out by LJ in. And I can't hit for dick today. So basically, the houses you can start off on, because you can only go into one house at a time, and it is random. So, you just gotta walk in front of the house and press up. And here we got house number three. So, the objective here is to not get hit. But you'll want to collect the bones, and you can see up there right under the A Nightmare on Elm Street banner, the number that you need to collect. Get used to hearing this song, because you're going to hear it a lot. LJN's not very good with uh, coming up with music for things. So, you'll hear the same thing over and over and over again. Punch these giant spiders, jump over that one, punch the fucking bee. Good times! Just like every horror game you'd want to play, right? But look at how bright and colorful it is. It's scary! So scary I could just shit my pants. It's pretty much just a watered-down game with an enemy crap fest. We better go up there and get that one. Before we can move on to the next area, you gotta collect all the bones. And I don't believe I collected uh, a Dream Warrior. And as you can see, we're falling asleep. And the first thing I do when I beat this game is I might want to check into a doctor and see how in the fuck I can fall asleep while I'm standing up. It's outrageous! So, a couple of these levels are going to have what you would probably say two stages. Fuck! And as you can see, I've died already. But thankfully, the game gives you a good amount of continues to get through it. Alright. Now, I want to find this radio. Otherwise, I'm going to have to fight Freddy, and it's going to be a pointless fight now. Because the end of the game is where it really matters. So, watch out for these mysterious fucking daggers just being tossed out of the fucking wall. Alright, there's the Dream Warrior, I, I believe. And now we can proceed to fight a battle against... Freddy's fucking hand. Yep, I'm a Dream Warrior here. And I sit here tossing javelins, and I think the actual name for this is Athlete. Best way to handle this fight, stand back here. His hand can't hit you from here. Your aim doesn't go far out, but it doesn't matter. Just stand here and toss it. One more hit. Maybe two. Come here, bring your hand here. There we go. You get a key. Gives you a shitload of points, and it gives you a life. So... Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that noise, guys. That's my smoke detector. I live in an apartment complex, and all the fucking things are wired into each other. So, when one apartment goes off, it sets mine off. Ah, I was kind of stuck there. So, I can't go into the second house there. So, we will go ahead and... This fucker will hurry up. God damn it! Tell me that ain't a crock of shit. Punch the snake. Tired of all these motherfucking snakes on the motherfucking ground. Yeah, it's not on a plane. Whoa, dodged a bullet there, or in that case, a bat. So, you'll keep collecting the bones. Shit. Cutting it a little closer. And you can get two more Dream Warriors, I believe. 
but the Athlete is probably by far one of the best ones. With addition to uh, the Shadow Warrior, I think he's called. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to take a fucking nap here again. But if I'm not mistaken, I think your Dream Warriors reset with each house, and I think basically you have to recollect them. Go! Alright. Watch out for these daggers. Who the fuck is throwing these things? You'll never find out. Just watch out. Okay. Oh, what a shitty ass dick. Poop dick! Keep collecting the bones, again. Don't take any hits. Don't play as bad as me, for starters. The controls just feel a touch off, though. Feels like there's a bit of a delay between actually moving and actually moving. If that makes any sense. Alright. Back to the real world. Freddy can't get me here. Which brings into question, since I can transform into the Dream Warrior during the boss fights, but I'm not asleep, does that mean it puts me into a sleeping state? That's probably a good question. I missed a bone somewhere. So, now we gotta go back. Ah, oh, there it is. It's up in the spider web. Fuck you. And the enemy spam fest just get worse from here. Like, the level's just gonna be bogged down with shit eventually. And we got the athlete again. Doesn't look like I have the Shadow Warrior. So, just handle this one the same way. But now he's gonna shoot, uh... Tongues? Damn. And if we don't get rid of some of these, we're gonna be in bad shape. Okay. Yeah, we'll get hit there. It's okay. I can do it. Alright. It's two houses down. So this means house number two should become available. I believe it's fixed that you gotta do these three houses first before moving on. I'm not entirely sure. I've only played this a handful of times. Sound like a slightly remixed version of some of the other stages? Why yes, it does. I don't really like the themes, they're not really what you would deem as spooky. No, so, we gotta get out of here, we're gonna get fucked. Alright. Watch out for the cum drops there. Oh! All right. Come on, I punched you right in the mouth. Goddamn bees. All right. You gotta be careful with some of these jumps when you're in Dream Warrior, because like the athlete, fucking smoke detector. Ah, <sighs> sorry guys. It's not that anything's on fire, it goes off at the littlest things, even when the stove's on. You could have nothing on the stove and just having the stove on and the cocksucker will still go off. Oh, watch out for this shit. Just jump through it. Most of the enemies are just better off ignored, it's not worth fighting them. out for the... What is that even? I mean, I wouldn't really consider that a rock since they're endlessly just pulling them out of their asses. They have to be just taking a dump on me. I'm not careful. I'm going to burn out all my lives here. Uh, that's bad. I'm just preferring to take the damage here instead of actually... Right, we'll come back for those two. What a spam fest of shit. Damn! Wow. 
Oh, there's a continue already. Come on! We might be trapped down here. I can't. Finally! Thought I was gonna be down there forever. I couldn't get the fuck out of there. And I can't transform into a dream warrior, so I'll just have to jump in. Alright. Damn! I'm just in... Oh! Come on! This is how painful the game can be. I mean, half of it's just because I suck ass at the game, and the other half is because it's just bullshit. Alright, for this... Alright. We've got... The Shadow Warrior. The best thing to do is to just fly and kick like this, and you don't even have to press anything. Just press the jump. He is king for the flying bosses. As long as you time it right. Nope. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. I actually tried using the athlete, and he didn't do too bad in the fight. But it's just much more effective to use the Shadow Warrior. This other guy, whom I'm gonna assume is a mage or a warlock or whatever, don't use him. He's fucking useless. Had potential, but it just didn't have anything put on it. Shoots a slow projectile that just misses half the time. Alright! And the boss fights, I would assume, are all the same music. I forget what Freddy's is. It may be the same. We'll find out when we get there. Oop. Come on. Almost there. Punch the keys. Elm Street High? No? Maybe it's the cemetery that's next? It's either that or the junkyard. Shouldn't be this one. Nope. And sometimes you can stand in front of it and push up, even if it's the right house and it won't take it. It's got like this shitty box of, you better stand here or else. Cemetery? Be careful going through here. The best thing I can tell you, tip-wise, is probably to just take your time. That's really the best you can do. Alright, so it has to be the junkyard. What awaits us inside the junkyard? What kind of crazy bosses will we come across? Find out next time. Have a good day, guys.